Hello, Bond fans, and welcome once again. So, this is um, a bit of a first for me, um, in many respects. Um, this is a playthrough, my playthrough, of the James Bond game Agent Under Fire for the uh, for the game the GameCube version um, I'll be playing here. This is uh, in addition to the um, review, um, proper full video review that I did of the game some time ago. Um, but a few of you guys were sort of like saying, you know, would you ever think of doing a playthrough, you know, a, a let's play, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, I'm not a big gamer, but um, as I've said time and time again, but I do love my Bond games. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it'd be interesting. Often when I'm um, doing the video game reviews, I have to uh, cut back so much stuff, like, you know, just small observations and whatnot, um, because the games are so big, you know, they take hours to play through, there's something to observe in, you know, most frames, um, so that's primarily the purpose of this video, um, and also just so, you know, a few of you can probably see how, <laughs> um, uh, you know, no, not the, I'm, I'm certainly not the best gamer by any stretch of the imagination. Now, what we have to do here is create a new save slot. This is, uh, this is well before the era that games used to save themselves. Um, yes, Agent CMD is what I used to call myself whenever I played a Bond game in my childhood. D don't, um, you know, judge me too harshly for it. Okay, what are we gonna call this file? Um, let's call this file... YouTube. I can't believe that there was once an era where you just like had to actually save games. And like this is not like the, the amount of times I would like play this game and then some of the. Uh, let me just check that the options are all alright. Uh, agent difficulty. Okay, double O agent, operative. Okay, we're gonna stick with agent. Uh, you're fairly moderate. Difficulty. Okay, everything else looks good. Um, yeah, like the amount of times I'd buy this game and then finish a level and just turn off the thing and forget to go to the save thing and then, oh, it's just a nightmare. Um, so, okay, here we go. Should be a new game. Fine. Yep, here we go. Okay, then, first level Trouble in Paradise. Take it away, M. 007, the CIA has come to us for assistance. It appears that one of their agents, a Miss Zoe Nightshade, recently sent out a distress signal. Since you are already on location in Hong Kong, we saw this as an opportunity to help out our American friends. And seeing as she's fit, we knew you wouldn't turn this mission down. A research firm known as Identicon, headed by a man named Nigel Block. The CIA believes that Identicon is a front for a massive smuggling ring dealing in biological weapons. Biological? Jesus Christ, that was some Sheriff J.W. Pepper level uh, uh, pronunciation. Nightshade was to obtain one of their courier cases. Analyzed. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with this woman's accent? And rescue Miss Nightshade. Now pay attention. I provided you with a high tension grapple line I call the Q Claw. Use this device to latch onto special perforated surfaces in order to pull yourself up to ledges and platforms. You'll also carry the Q laser, which emits a powerful beam of coherent light capable of slicing through metal alloys commonly used in locks. Mm. Okay, well, that all makes sense. Let's uh, crack on with it, shall we? This is kind of an interesting game because it was sort of in the era before they were like trying to replicate the film series so much. So we are just kind of like, yep, straight in, no good, Meryl. Um, this is a bit of a shame, really. Uh, there are times when this game just doesn't feel Bondian enough, um, and little Bondian touches like a gun barrel sequence would really help. There isn't even a main title sequence, or even an original song. Come on, guys. I know, you just told me. While retrieving a case containing suspicious research materials. Suspicious. Find the case and see to her safety. Ah, so okay, that's kind of it. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. There appear to be two ways into the building. You could use your Q claw on that pipe vent to sneak in through the ventilation system, or your Q decryptor could open that digital lock. Now, this is kind of a, um... Oh, okay, then here we go. Yeah, this is kind of a curious um, thing in that uh, you get, because this game is full of Bond moments that you get when you do something particularly Bondian, and there are two available here, like one for opening this massive door, and then one for using this, which is kind of weird, because it's like you have to use both methods of entry to get the 
full amount of bomb bombs anyway. Um, okay, now if I remember... Okay, uh, okay. Now... Okay, this guy, now if I remember correctly... If you take him out with a punch... You can pick up this here key card, which... Oh, where am I going? I'm going this way. And Crypta... Okay. It is really annoying how long some of the doors take to actually open in this game. I mean, it's not as if the level's loading behind it or anything. That area is already there. Another bond move. Uh, right, here we go. So now we, yeah, if you come through this door... Originally, you get noticed by that security camera up there, um, and you hear the voice of a woman, who we do not know who she is yet, um, saying, you know, look who's here, bloke in the building, go get him. Um, but for some reason, she doesn't seem to notice you when you come back this way. Aha! Rocket launcher, grenades, yep. I am very happy with that. Okay, then. So it's kind of a fairly inauspicious start to the game, really. Um, I... And then next bit loads, it's just sort of, oh, okay. This guy. Now this is the first level, so I guess people are still kind of uh, easy to take out at this stage. The game just kind of assumes that you know, like, so much about the series as well, which I kind of quite like. I mean, you know, there's no real introduction to Q, it's just sort of... They may know you're inside. Well, no shit, sure. of course I'm blowing things up. They just kind of assume that you know... Um... Mm, fireworks. Oh, I wonder what I should do here. There we go. They just kind of assume that you know who everyone is, like, you know... When some bloke starts talking and saying, pay attention, they assume that you know it's Q and all this kind of stuff, which I, I, I kind of like. It's, uh... Uh-huh, now... There's a bloke behind there. So much of these um, Bond moment things, you kind of... There we go. Um, you kind of only really can pick up on in repeated plays. Okay, then, now... Hmm. I really do kind of walk you through this. Even on like the medium difficulty setting, they still like give you all these like visual hints and stuff. Oh no! Oh! Oh crap! Okay, that never normally happens. Okay. Okay, let's uh... Sorry, normally they just kind of go running past and uh... I was obviously a little bit late off the mark because I am yammering on. <sighs> Damn, my health took a real... da Took a real punishing there. Oh, well, never mind, uh, you know, I always say that I'm one for, you know, shoot first, ask questions later in these kind of games, so. Now, I know I've only got, like, three rockets in here, but I just love getting this guy. With... Okay, then, and uh, where are they all? Come on. Come on, come on. Right, okay then, yep, get that guy, and this guy has a very nice shotgun. Which I pick up. Aha, the frenessy. Very nice, okay then. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a goon around here. Who was just like, stood there while all his co-workers were getting murdered. Uh -huh. M, I've located the vials Nightshade was looking for. Now I just need to find Nightshade herself. Hmm. Kind of disturbing how M can kind of just like see and hear everything that Bond does in this game. Double O Seven, we believe the American agent is being held somewhere on the lower levels. Hmm. I don't really get why they've got a sniper on her. It's kind of overkill. I mean, like they've got a sniper on her, they're gonna lower her into a. They're gonna, you know, lower her. if she doesn't drown or get eaten by sharks. Well, then, you know what? The hell, she'll get snipered to death. Okay, here we go. Don't lie to me. I know you're a spy. Now, call. I'm kind of curious that they cut away from the actual slap there, which is. 
I don't know, would the game have got a higher rating if it shown a bloke slapping a woman? Prepare to launch the sub. Oh Jesus, I forgot about that boob jiggle. Good lord. They're so buoyant in this game, it's unreal. Okay then, time to rescue Zoe. First I'll take out this here sniper. Now there's no, like, correct way of doing this, I don't think. Like, when you shoot him, he goes falling, and then everyone's alerted. Um, but even if you, like... Thank you. Even if you, like, um, take him out stealthily, the, the alarm still is raised and um, all hell breaks loose. Now, I normally like to just pick off a few guys here. I know that time's of the essence, um, but it's just good to plan ahead. Whoa, that was quite the, uh, quite the prep hole. Oh yeah, this is what it's all about. Lots of explosions, lots of shooting, it is... Did she just say my name? Does she know me? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, God, people are right, like, James Bond is like a terrible secret agent. Literally everyone knows his name. Yeah. Am I glad to see you. Please cut this lock. I just want to have a look at I mean, look at those thing. Like uh, not the best animated shark I've ever seen, I'll admit, but um, you know, still would have kind of been overkill. Thank you. All right, there we go. Mission complete. First mission over. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sure we'll think of something. Oh, I miss the days where Bond was just nothing but smut. Oh dear. Okay then. Oh yeah, I miss this so much about all the first person shooters where they actually told you mission duration, six minutes, should have taken five. Oh, okay then. Um, I mean from this I should get the gold. Yep, and I've unlocked the golden gun. Now this is not the actual golden gun, but rather they upgrade the um, Walther to a golden variety, which is, you know, cool in its own way. Um, okay, second level. Good work on your successful infiltration of the research facility, Bond. Why, thank you, madam. No, your liberation of Nightshade did not go undetected. No shit. These men have been ordered to apprehend you at all costs. Hmm. I recommend you leave the driving to her and use whatever means at your disposal to fend off enemy attackers. Your destination is Identicon's factory near the dockyards. Agent Nightshade has indicated that the second shipment with the last set of vials can be found there. Mm. Penetrate their defenses and recover that case. Mm. Once you have recovered the vials, deliver them to R for analysis. He will be waiting for you within the dockyards and will escort Agent Nightshade to safety. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This was in that time in between um, movies where they had no real idea what was going to be going on with Q. It's like between World is Not Enough and Dying of the Day and no one knew if John Cleese was just going to be R forever or if, you know... But then it's curious, because like, you have the Q-Claw, the Q-Laser, the Q-Decryptor, everything's named after Q, and yet you don't actually have Q giving you the stuff, it's just, ah. Well, I don't know. Looks like we have company, Zoe. Keep a firm grip on the wheel, I'll hold them off. You know, I actually quite like the look of Bond in this game, the, the, the look and the voice, I, um... God, now this gate. There we go, Bond move. Take that down. You just have so much ammo to play with. Okay, then. Let's see if we can use this here rocket launcher. Oop. Oh, it's a bit difficult when Zoe's maneuvering all over the place. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be something. Ah, they are indeed. Now, if you shoot the tires. Yep, there we go. You get Bond moves galore in this section of the game. Okay, but well, ah, here we go. James, right I can see that, Zoe. There we go. Good shot, James. Uh, they're still driving, Zoe. Um, Armor, aim for the tires. I have hit the tires, but it's still going. Jesus Christ, how many men do they have in the back of that van? Okay, there we go, that's it. Right now. Oh, wait, where, where? Aha. Uh -huh. 
Ah, there we go again. Hey, I'm never normally this good at aiming. This is uh, this is quite something. Oh, for Jesus. Is that the same? No, no, no. Come on. Oh yeah, see this is this is more like it. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. I was about to disparage my own uh, tire aiming then. Okay. Oh, out of the way, dude. Oh. Oh, did I blow up some baddies ahead of time? Right, blow them up and blow them up. Okay, awesome. It's so explosive, this game. It's just like explosion, 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 bond theme, bond theme, bond theme. It's pretty great. I do love it. Okay, then, come on. Come on, get the tires, get the tires. Come on. There we go. Oh, I thought I got a bond move for that. Do I not? Okay. Um, oh, that car. Oh, bye, car. Uh, oh, still on. The oh. oh. Am I missing out on bond moves because of the terrible driving of my uh, foes? Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, right. Seriously, that I, I thought I would get an extra bond move there. Right, I'm going to be one short at the end of this level. Because There's a roadblock ahead. Slow down, Zoe. Yes, Zoe. Right, now if I remember correctly, you shoot the guy in the helicopter first. Oh, wait, okay. Um, ah. Cars are in the way. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna blow it up. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up! Okay, here we go. Did that blow up the station? Oh, there we go. Whoa, okay, there we go. Good shot, James. Oh, thank you, Zoe. Okay, here we go. So this is the factory where the second... Boo. Got him, Zoe. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. Jesus, everywhere in this place. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Die, die, die. Great. These on rail shooting bits. They're so cool. Ooh, hello. Oh, okay. Uh, right, come on. Yep, there we go. And. I'm not sure why so many Bond games of the Pierce Brosnan era are like. Love doing this thing. Like, you know, these. Um... Oh, come on. There we go. Ah, there we go. I love that they don't even really tell you what to do. It's just, uh, you know, shoot the red things! Does that all work? Yep, there we go. Um, just how many games of the PS Brosnan era did this whole on rail shooting thing? Um, I mean, it's not really a, a, a vital ingredient to the film series. It's not often that Bond is just. Oh, no, no, he's not only driving, but he's never, like, you know, shooting while someone else drives, or is he? You can't think of an instance. Oh, right into the cutscene. And here is R. Now, of course, in, you know, pre-release stuff for this game, R was going to be um, John Cleese. It was going to be a full, proper render of John Cleese. And that would have been really cool. Um, and also a bit odd. It's strange that this game is sort of like... They don't... I mean, the Z8... I mean, you know... They don't really use anything from the series. I mean, the Z8 obviously was the most recent car in the world. It's not enough, but like... I, and I know that they couldn't use... Um, Pierce Brosnan, um, Pierce Brosnan's likeness for Bond, because apparently his contract was in dispute around this point, um, but for, like, you know, R, I don't know why they couldn't come to terms with John Cleese over using his likeness, it, it feels really odd and strange that they went for just this random, like, looking guy, um, and I also think it's a bit of a shame that they didn't, you know, get some name actresses to play some of the women in this, uh, in this game. But I don't suppose the game series was quite at that point yet. Now, of course, Jackal has stolen the vials, or the second box of vials, or is, is that both? Anyway, um... She's dead, 007. Bond, it's too late for her, but the assassin has taken the vials. Get after them. Get over it quickly, Bond! Oh, Zoe isn't even slightly charred. Like, she was in the, you know, in the very epicenter of an explosion, and she's completely fine. 
Oh my god, yeah, I did miss out on Bond moves because of the terrible driving of some of those cars. Absolutely appalling. Um, Jeez, 13 Bond moves in a level that is 5 minutes long, that is something. But still got the gold medal and unlocked the golden CH6. Okay then, on to Dangerous Pursuit next. The first fully-fledged driving level of the game. I'm so excited. She needn't have died in vain. It's imperative that you reclaim those bars as quickly as possible. We've intercepted their radio transmission. They intend to transfer the vials to an armored van for more secure transportation. Mm. You must get to that rendezvous before they escape. Should you be unable to prevent the transfer from occurring, you must stop the armored van at all costs. Use caution, however. We need those vials intact. Mm. 007, I've airdropped some Q-Lab equipment into your area. They will appear as blips on your radar. The Q-Pulse is particularly effective in disabling vehicles without damaging their contents. You'll need to get within a few meters of your target and allow adequate charge-up time to ensure success. I do remember the Q-Pulse as being the bane of my life for this level. Oh, no, not the Q- No, yeah, actually the Q-Pulse, because um, the whole point of this is that you need to, like, get up close to the van with the vials and then use the Q-Pulse. You basically have to be, like, right next to it and then the Q-Pulse disables it, but getting right up next to it, it, uh, it will either take me- Two minutes or twenty. It's gonna. It's one of those things where if it. The Q okay. briefcase that contains the vials is equipped with a locating beacon, 007. Okay. The arrow on your radar will enable you to track it. And I think this about the how the Bond games used to be, where you could just sort of you know piss about for a bit in the car and you know have a bit of a play around. Oh, uh, and, and bash into uh, crates like I'm just doing. Um, you know, I, in in the later games. Like in the Daniel Craig era, the, the car levels are all like time, speed, you know, if you get, you know, a millisecond behind, then, you know, um, end of game for you. Um, whereas here, it's actually, you know, it's a bit of a joy just to drive around the environment, really. Um, aha, now, if I remember correctly, do this. There we go. Oh, out of the way. Oh, yeah, and machine guns is separate to, like, the missiles and the gadgets. Oh, I love this. Okay then, and then if I remember rightly, another Bond move. There we go. Um, now. Those blips on your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, 007. Hmm. Use them sparingly, however. And this is like such a big map. Um, for such a short level, really. I mean, like I say, the level can be over in two minutes. I'm just sort of playing around for a bit because I... Remember there is a petrol station somewhere, and if you blow it up, you get a bond move. Um, which is curious. Because I don't think... I mean, especially as there are, like, no baddies in it. Oh, God, where is it? Come on, where are you, petrol station? Hmm... Is curious because you wouldn't think they would reward you for being completely destructive, um, and yet they do. Is that it there? Oh no, that's what is that? Oh, it's a, a theater of some kind. Oh, the flashing lights distracted me because I'm like a magpie or something. Right. Oh, where is it? Uh, I love I love how detailed this level is. I mean, look at this. Like, you don't even really get to come around here. Like, if you accomplish, you know, the mission in such a short space of time. But it's really nicely detailed. I could just go around. Aha! There it is. There's the petrol station. Okay then. Oh, there is a bad guy. Oh, Jesus. Okay then. So long. Petrol station. Okay then. Now. On to the main objective to disable the van carrying the vials. Now, um, this, there's also um, a lot of good replay value um, in this level. Uh, you, later on, you unlock the Lotus Esprit for um, driving level, so you can come back and replay it. And the Lotus Esprit, I must say, handles a hell of a lot better than this. I'm not sure if that's the case in real life. Probably not. Aha! The vials have been transferred to that armored van. Yes, sir. Get rid of these guys. Okay then. Oh come on! Yeah, see in the Lotus Esprit you just kind of okay, let's use the booster. Ah oh, no! Oh no! No no no! Oh good lord! Oh dear lord! Oh my! Huh. Well that was uh, 
Unfortunate. Oh, starting again. Okay, then. Okay, here we are again, guys. Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of unfortunate. Um, that's not something that happens to me often. Um, I don't know if that was an effect of the booster or what. Oh, damn, where is he? Okay, then. Let's get this guy. Okay, then. Like I say, the objective is to get... Oh, he's... See, I love that it's not like predetermined where he's going to go either. I don't know um, quite what the algorithm is, but I do like... That you can't just... Okay, come on, come on, come on! Yes, come on! Oh, yes! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Really. Well, I mean, I shouldn't be proud of myself because look at the state of that car. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, then. So that was uh, that was a mixed bag, wasn't it? Um, did I get all the Bond moves there? Oh, I did! Oh, incredible. Okay, then. Uh, did it in good time as well. I mean, obviously that's like restarted. Um, unlimited missiles for gold performance, which is like that's one of the best gold rewards you can possibly get in this game because missiles come in so much like handy later on. Okay, the bad diplomacy. Now this is probably the first stealth level of the game. Um, the evidence you retrieved in Hong Kong contains nine vials of human blood samples as well as photographs of the British Embassy in Romania. Eight of the vials were labelled with the initials of the world's industrial nations. Mm. The last vial was marked Griffin. The computer database search turned up a man named Reginald Griffin serving as a British diplomat in Romania. Griffin's behaviour has been the subject of an internal foreign ministry report. He seems obsessed with protecting a secure room in the embassy, an area normally outside his jurisdiction. Mm, not suspicious at all. Infiltrate Griffin's secure room, find out what he's hiding, and access his computer records. Because he's a high-level diplomat, this must remain a strictly covert investigation. We're not sure of the extent of the conspiracy, so trust nobody. Remember, too, that the guards are not suspected and may not be harmed. Mm. On that note, 007, I've provided you with a dart gun that will tranquilize but not harm the guards. I've also issued you a pair of Q specs which can be used to see hidden doors and hatches. British embassies rely heavily on these security measures. Hmm. It's quite disappointing that the dart gun isn't called the Q dart gun or something like that. Um. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, now Bond makes the most inconspicuous entrance in the history of the series here. Like, are they. So, I mean, there's so many things wrong with this. I mean, like, look at that. The guards are literally right there. But never mind. Like, look at. Look, look at that. Look at that. They're right there. Like. Not really holding onto the rope there, James, at all. Oh, I miss the days where graphics were this dodgy. Okay, there we go. Now, if I remember, I used to be quite good at doing this level. Oh! Okay, oh, <laughs> that was uh, a well-timed remark, obviously. Um, okay, then. If I remember, you can also just hit them with your fist and that. Subduce them. Right. Pick up the darts. You know, it's, I, it, it's like, um, I do like how this game is um, designed. Um, oh, I love the lift music. Queen Elizabeth bloody everywhere in this building. Ah, oh, these cards really are terrible. Right, is there another one out here? No? Oh, has he gone on his walkies? Okay. Um. Right. I like how the game is structured. Um, like, the first three levels do very much feel like the pre-credit sequence of the game. Um. It's just a shame that there isn't, like, a, a, a title sequence in between those levels. I, uh, quite miss that now. If I remember correctly, do you... Oh, damn it. Ah, no! Ah, fortunately, they uh, are terrible at uh, raising the alarm here. Okay, then, let's I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. What? Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, damn it! Okay, and here Bond makes quite possibly the most 
auspicious entrance in the history of the series. I mean, look, I mean, either he's just ballsy or the guards are uniformly terrible because, I mean, he should not get away with this. Someone should see him. Someone should be doing their job right. Not really holding onto the rope there either, are we, James? Um, oh, I miss it when... Graphics of this torch. I like how this model of Bond is constantly smiling throughout the game as well. He's like, he's got that real like Roger Moore. Ah, this is all a laugh uh, quality to it, um, which I really appreciate. Okay, now if I remember rightly, I used to be quite good at this level. Oh crap. Oh, okay. Um, wasn't a very good demonstration of my uh, skill there. If I remember correctly as well, you can fist them. Oh, sorry, punch them. Um. <laughs> To subdue them. Um, darts, yep. And we get some jazzy music in the lift. Bum, bum, dum. I could just stay in that lift all day. What? Oh, for God's sake. Come back, come back. There we go. Fortunately, they're not very good at raising the alarm in this game. It take, I mean, they run to the thing immediately and then it takes them about... 12 hours just to press the bloody thing. Now, some bottle. Now, is there a way of getting around this without um, knocking over these bottles and alerting the guards? Because I don't know if I've ever found a way of doing it. Oh, no! Okay, there we go. That was. Okay, I'm quite happy with my skill there now, if I remember. Aha! Yes. And that disables that. And there is a guard out here. Get him. It's amazing how... Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. All this stuff stays... I haven't played this game in um, quite some time. It's amazing how all this stuff just sort of stays with you. Like, I know that there are the Q specs, which you can use to, like, find... Oh, where, where, wherever they are. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, and then you can... Yeah, so... Secret passage. Very nice. Okay, that. Yep. Okay. And out. Yeah. So this is Romania, eh? Hmm. Now you can just go up the ladder, quite simply. But being the renegade that I am, I like to Q claw up here and get the bond move. All important bond moves. Now, if I remember rightly. Ah, yep. There we go. Silhouetted woman, standing perfectly still. Um okay. They sure do love playing the Bond theme a lot in this thing. Yeah, need password. Oh, and they love this statue as well. This statue pops up a few times in the game. I I guess it's supposed to be Malprave. Um I love how they couldn't show block hitting a woman earlier, but completely naked statue of lady complete with nipples is a okay, apparently. Ah, sexy, sexy pixels. Hmm, eyebrow raised, but nope, oh, back to business. I like that, it's nice little acting on him there. Hmm. These are private quarters. Sorry, miss. I'm with the new security team sent by the Home Office. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Really? Shall I show you the way? Boob jiggle! Good lord! Hmm, okay, and little do we know that that is actually the main villain of the, uh, of the game. Um, but we'll see a little bit more of her later, but not much. She really doesn't have much of a presence in this game. Now... Nice little um, Hitchcock's Psycho reference here. Um, spin the chair. It's an odd horror moment. This it's kind of. M, I found Griffin. He's been tortured to death. Looks like an interrogation gone bad. No, sir. Your eyes don't deceive. Unfortunately, I am the last thing they will ever see. And this shoot up's kind of uh, interesting in that you basically just actually... He does get a shot in or two, but it's kind of impossible for him not to when you're right in front of him like that. Okay. 
Look at the size of this thing. It's like, that's the passcode generator. It's like the size of a briefcase. Like that thing that Bond uses on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Okay, and on to the password. Despite our recent setback in Hong Kong, our plans will not be disrupted. You must receive and deliver our defective merchandise to Malfrave Industries in Switzerland. Hmm. Okay. Next objective, escape embassy. I love how all the dead bodies in the game fade, apart from that one. Okay. Now it's just very simple. Oh, come on, where's the laser? Okay, so we go. Okay, and then get. Ah! 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 Go away! Oh, okay. Um, they probably have a better. Sure, just shooting you than they would actually even going through this effort of raising the alarm all the time. Okay. And... Right, there we go. Grubbity. Oh, I'm stuck. Under. Okay. And I always remember there's a sneak. They sneak in a little guard here at the door at the very end. There we go. Objective complete. Now, take a good look at that outside, because we will be returning to this location um, very shortly. All the Bond moves, hooray! 11 enemies subdued. I think there are only 11 enemies in there. Weapon accuracy, 100%. That is not something I often get. Golden accuracy. Oh, okay. Um, ah, cold reception. This was always the bane of my life when I was um, younger. I could never do this level effectively. Conducted tests on the man who attacked you in the embassy. He was more than just an imposter. He was an exact genetic duplicate of Griffin. In short, a clone. The message you retrieved from Griffin's computer mentioned the company, Malprave Industries, based in Switzerland, a leader in bioengineering technology. It fits the evidence that Malprave Industries is involved in the illegal advancement of human cloning. Bond, your mission is to infiltrate Malprave Industries and collect any incriminating information. Mm. You'll be posing as Mr. Somerset, a journalist who has arranged an interview with the company... I love it when Bond goes into cover. Mr. Somerset, what a lovely name. ...will give us an indication of Malprave's plans. Hello, 007. For this mission, we've provided you with a micro camera for photographing sensitive materials. Mm. Your Q decryptor can be used to hack into Malprave's computer mainframes. Mm. In addition... I've equipped you with a Q remote gadget. This device records electronic signals, which can then be used to remotely control the matching machine or computer. I find it very demeaning that everything that I work with is named after a man that I used to work with and not me. Mr. Somerset? Right this way, please. Oh yeah, the twins! Like, it's kind of weird. Another unbondian thing about this game is that there aren't really any Bond girls apart from Zoe Nightshade. Um, I'm afraid your interview with Ms. Malprave has been delayed. In the meantime, you can enjoy the view. Oh, at least their bum cheeks don't jiggle like the boobs. Previously met Adrian Malprave. She was in the embassy in Romania. Then you'd better collect your information and get out 007. You have only a limited amount of time before they'll notice that you're gone. I love how they were just sending him there, like having done like to meet with this CEO. Oh, silence is going on. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the golden gun. You see, it's just basically the wall but with a gold coating. Oh, I love little touches like that. Yeah, I love how they, like, just sent Bond to meet with this CEO, like, having never Googled her, and then all of a sudden it's there, and it's because of this massive stained glass window that they... <laughs> it's like, oh, actually, I can't meet this woman because she's seen me before. I'm um, saying that, that didn't stop him, uh... Oh, I like Bella and... BB. Huh. Um... Not that a villain seeing Bond stopped him when it came to On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which was in a very similar location to this. Um. 007. The satellite imagery should be in plain sight. Well, it's not right now. Um. Okay, then. Oh, you would think that'd get... Oh, there we go. Bond move here. Okay, now, I like to be stealthy around this point. Oh, I love how accurate the crosshair is on this thing. It's... 
incredibly satisfying. Oh, come on, come on, mate. Oh, shit. Oh, my stealthiness might have. Oh, crap! Oh, shit, okay. Um, it's always. Alright, now. I need to photograph stuff. There's some good spy work stuff that goes on in this game. Yes, M. Oh, there we That's go. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what else do I photograph? I wish that you could use the flash as like a distractor for. Uh... As like a distractor for enemies, like um, you know, if they're running towards you, you flash them with the camera, and they are temporarily blinded. Okay. Anyone in here? No. And doors open. Let's have a look. Huh, maybe I killed everyone. Um, okay. Oh, no, obviously not, obviously not. Don't fire your weapon, thank you. Um, no. For some reason, a rocket launcher is uh, considered something of a display item in this, uh, in this workplace. Uh, not sure I'd appreciate that really if I had an office job and like at my desk right in front of me there was a giant, you know, killing machine. Um, but okay. Oh, he fired, but I guess I'm okay. Now there's something here that the access card should work with the mainframe computer system. Very good. Oh no, snazzy lift music? What is this? Oh, crap. Yes, that would be the lift opening behind you that you just chose to ignore. Okay, then. Through. Yeah. Now, this bit's always curious. Ah, oh, what the hell with that? Just blow them all up. Um. Did that kill him? Oh, good. Now. How do I do this and not. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm okay. No, it always catches me off guard. I'm like, when there's like a big. I mean, the whole point of putting that thing is in is that the alarm is shut off so that I can do all of these without being um, harassed by guards. Um, but when it like screams alarm disabled, it's not really the stealthiest of. Uh, Oh yes, I need to photograph this as well. Um, the stealthiest of, uh, of things. Especially when they blare the Bond theme in your... Oh no, what? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I miss these days where you could carry around machine guns and rocket launchers and PPKs and grenades and all sorts of things. Ugh, none of this nonsense of, oh, only two guns at a time crap that we get nowadays. Okay, next bit of the level loads, and I remember this bit being fun. Now, multiple ways around doing things. You can either go through the door, or you can be stealthy. Oh! oh okay. Um, there we go. Do I not get a bond move for that? Ever so satisfying. Right. Okay. It's kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go, bomb move. Okay, then, and now it makes it much easier to just take out these guys. Stealthily. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yes, I did get him. Because these guys are so weak that literally a gust of air can... Uh, Destroy them. Okay. Come on, where are you? There we go. And none of them seem to have any, like, register of uh, their fellow comrades being in peril. Oh, apart from this guy. Oh! Where? Where? Oh! 
Ah, damn it. Okay. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh, well. Alarm's gone. Time to take that silencer thing off. Oh, what? No! Oh. That was a mistimed yawn by that security guard. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Let me get the thing. Let me get the thing. There we go. Just a bear, I tell you. Oh. Go. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. They're coming from everywhere. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Right, there we go. Got him. Okay, am I out of ammo with my golden gun? Okay, then. Uh, right, then. Now, oh, wait, what? Where's that? Where's that coming from? There's a bit coming up that always kind of gets... What? Oh! Come on, die, cretin, die. Yeah, there's a bit coming up that always kind of intimidates me a bit. It's when this security guard, this big, like, beefy guard comes up running towards you with a shotgun. It's always a little bit disconcerting. Come on. I always like to have my rocket launcher out for him. Right. Oh, no! Here we go! Okay. Oh. Right, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's not as bad as I remembered. Oh! Oh! I love how, like, literally, explosion here, and this guard's like, Oh, well, just doing my daily routine. Just, uh, being a good security worker. Right, and get that guy. Okay. Excellent. You know, you really blast through this game when you know what you're doing. The levels aren't, um, exactly massive. And Bond escapes, a la Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Can I get all the Bond moves there? Oh, whoa, I did! Oh, okay. So, enemy subdued, ammo efficiency, 20%. Yeah, that's more like it. Golden clip. Okay, excellent. That means you can carry more ammo in your golden gun. Knight of the Jackal. This is one of my absolute favorite levels. The data you retrieved in Switzerland includes a file titled Damaged Goods. We believe this is a code word for Dr. Natalia Demescu. I wish that they just called her Natalia Simonova, like, oh, just, come on. I would have loved that. Malprey has hired Carla the Jackal to raid the embassy and kidnap Dr. Damascu. Bond, you must prevent her from being kidnapped. Mm. 007, I've secured a room in an upper floor apartment around the corner from the embassy. You know, our show sure does get around at the drop of a hat in this game. The apartment. I'll provide you with a device that will allow you to infiltrate the embassy. Mm. Okay, then, here we go. Oh, yeah, if only the doctor was, like, Natalia from GoldenEye, that would just be amazing. There's that damn statue again. Malbrave is going to attempt to direct assault on the embassy. Their target is Dr. Natalia Damescu. Yes, I know you just told me. work for Malbrave. She has a data chip indicating the location of something known as Poseidon. Mm. Make sure that Dr. Damescu is not captured. I love how they really do just, like, continually recap. They just assume that you've just skipped through all that talking bit and just get into the action, which is, you know... Well, somewhat true most of the time. Um, so yeah... Here we go. There's the embassy from earlier. Now, all kicks off here, which is great. It's such an inauspicious start, and then it's like, oh crap, there's like, people everywhere. You just kind of think, oh yeah, it'll just be another, you know, stealth level, whatever. Um, and then no, actually, you... Alright, and get these guys. Oh god. Ah! Grenade! My strategy, right here, guys. Just run at them, shoot them, you know. Right now, take out this sniper who's a constant bane in my life. Come on. Oh, phew. Oh, what? No. Oh, what? That was throwing a grenade then. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. 
Alright then, now you're gonna get it. Come on. Oh, damn it. Have I run out of ammo? Oh, man. No! Oh, my ammo efficiency is terrible! Bond. The terrorists control the front of the building and they've taken civilian hostages. You'll need to take an alternate route to ensure their safety. Use the safe house on the other side of the embassy. R will provide further instructions upon your arrival. Yes, ma'am, but right now I'm almost dying. But fortunately, body armor is a popular, uh... And shotguns, apparently, are a great, um, you know, window display item in this town. Uh, okay, then, is there anything in this one? Nope, nope. You know what your window needs? Your window needs shotguns. That's definitely what you need to have on display to improve business. Especially when you don't have double glazed windows and anyone can just break it. Right, another sniper. I'm honestly in uh, awe of how... Oh no. Did I get him? Okay. Oh, of how bad my uh, accuracy is in this game. It says... Inaccuracy was never my strong suit. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, not the Q specs. Where's my claw? Oh, it does get annoying having to sift through all these bloody gadgets. Okay. And, of course, the only reason to get that sniper is so that you can all. Well, when, you know, you were. 12 years old as I was when this game was released, so that you can ogle this naked lady in the shower. The game's um, attitude towards nudity is really quite uh, quite liberal. Um, it's also kind of weird that this is like Zoe. I mean, it was some guy's job to make this thing, and I mean, she's got a bum crack. This is not a, you know, an anatomically incorrect model. Um... And yeah, as a 12-year-old, the whole point of getting that sniper was just to, to do that. Um, sexy, sexy pixels. And of course, R is the biggest cock tease in the history of the series for doing this. Ah yes, the latest in holographic technology. I thought that would catch your eye, 007. Now pay attention. I mean, what a twattish thing. I mean, like, it's just, 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 just like, as if, like, I mean, Bond was heading there anyway. Like, if he'd have just met Bond, it would have been like, here you go. There is literally no reason for having that lady in the shower. I dare say. Other than to just tease Bond, I guess. Okay, then. Ooh, what lovely artwork. Right. Time to go and save some hostages in one of the more harrowing um, moments of this game. Um. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a depressing um, little bit here. Uh, body armor, always handy. Um, it's so quiet and the sounds of like the hostages, it's really quite... Uh, Quite harrowing, really. Oh shit. And it's like... It's like... Jesus! It's like this game was fun up until this point. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, okay, there we go. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on, cheer up, buddy! You're alive! Uh, okay, then never mind. Um, right, now, if I remember correctly, isn't there something behind here? Ah, oh, there we go. And, yeah, don't go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, holy hell! Good lord, I actually genuinely forgot about that. Oh, it's so good. I, uh, yeah, no, I... I love this game for just balls-to-the-wall action. Like, it is just a, a, a really, um, non-stop sort of shooting 
game do you really like? It, uh, it's, it's a little light on story, I'll admit, or at least the storytelling. Like, I think the villain's plot is actually quite good and original and, um... Oh, lovely lift music. And I think it, it's interesting, like, to be honest, where the PS Brosnan series was at that time, it could have... Gee. I wonder where that could be. I don't even need the Q specs for that. The name is Bond. James Bond. They've taken the data chip containing the information on Poseidon. So there we go. That's Dr. Natalia Damascu, who sadly does not speak with a Russian accent. I wish she did. Why don't you speak with a Russian accent? Okay, then here we go. On to the last bit of the level. Um, but yeah, with where the Pierce Brosnan series was at this time, I don't think this story would have been entirely out of place. It's quite far-fetched, admittedly, but then so are diamond, uh, encrusted satellites. So, um, I mean, you know, it's not that big of a stretch. Damn it. And, um, but it's just more the storytelling isn't really at its strongest here. Like, the cutscenes just aren't really... Well, well, the famous James Bond. Even she knows who you are. It's like, God, good lord. How does it? Good lord. I always remember this bit being a bit of a... Right, there we go. Damn it! I, why do I have more ammo here? Okay, and then we get those. Come on, love. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, then. Beautiful moment. Bond, did you encounter the jackal? What happened? She's fallen for me. Boom, boom! Okay, yeah, just some of the cutscenes aren't as, like, detailed as they could be. Um, right, now this helicopter makes its getaway. And then a new one turns up, an armoured one. Now, if you are particularly sharp with your aim, you can take out the helicopter pilot with a sniper. And which takes out the hole. There we go! Oh, beautiful. It's so much more time efficient than using these admittedly quite cool um, gun emplacements. Um, but yeah, just taking out the pilots a little bit easier. I'm so upset that this feature isn't included in other Bond games, because it is such a great little... Uh, like, yeah, it rewards you for being... Oh, come on. Um, for being a good shot, which is all what a shooter should be about, surely. Hello, bloke. Um, hmm, okay. I think I got all the Bond moves for this one. Oh, I did! Oh, god, excellent. Yeah, they expect you to, mission duration, seven minutes, they expect you to accomplish missions in on this game with uh, a, a, a staggering speed. And onto another driving level, but this time in the Aston Martin DB5. Remains a mystery. That information was on the data chip stolen by Malprave's henchmen. Dr. Damascu installed a micro beacon on the data chip, but it requires a special locator to read its signal. R has delivered a suitable tracking device to the local train station for your immediate retrieval. Mm. Our satellite reconnaissance indicates the helicopter pilot jettisoned the chip somewhere in the city before his damaged craft was destroyed. Malprave's men will undoubtedly be looking for it, so you must recover it as quickly as possible. Once you have the chip, you'll need to deliver it to R's field office on the other side of the river. From it, you should be able to discern the location of Poseidon. Good luck, 007. Hmm, thank you, M. Okay, then, here we go. On to the next driving level. And this level is quite interesting. It's, it's one of two parts. It's like The first part is driving, and the second part is an on-rails shooter. I don't know why these two sections weren't just split up into two separate levels, but, you know... Oh, it's just so good to be able to control Bond driving an Aston Martin DB5. Again, this is another level that once you've unlocked Lotus of Spree, you can replay in that. The data chip has been ejected from the damaged helicopter. Retrieve the Q locator and find that chip. God, this, I forget how this, this car handles so differently to the other ones. And unlimited missiles, which is... Great, good lord, this thing is slow. Jesus. Like, I'm just, like, putting my foot down, or rather finger down, um, so much, and I can barely keep up with this. Right, there we go. Okay. Um, oh, Q-slicks, yeah. 
Oh, I miss when you can actually use gadgets on the cars. God, Dan why don't they just give Daniel Craig like a true Bond-like video game with gadgets and cars and I mean, it's just, instead of every time, it's just the bloody smartphone. God, I sound so old. I'm older and this bloody car, the amount of complaining I'm doing about it, it's trivial. Jesus, does, it really, does this normally go this slow? Am I doing this incorrectly? Oh no, not slicks. Oh, okay. Didn't really need the missiles. Uh, armor. Yes, I'll have that. I don't think I'll ever be in front of a car that won't be able to overtake me in order to use those slicks unless they're sitting behind me now. Okay. Like, I so badly want to use these slicks, but. I want my bond move! Okay, it's not exactly high octane, really, this, is it? Ah, oh, ah, oh, bad, bad behind me. Hey, there we go. Alright. If I slow down, will it? The flashing beacon on your GPS no, it just just go this slow. Okay, then. Jesus Christ, let me get in that bloody Lotus Esprit. Okay, come on. Whoa, okay then. Boom, boom. Okay then. And this one as well. Oh! Do -do, do -do -do. Oh, okay, now we're speeding up. Okay, was I just not like. Not doing it right before? Yeah, whoa, okay, amazing, I'm speeding up. Oh, okay, this is great. Was my. Just. Oh, why was my. I literally had my finger all the way down before. Why was I going so slowly? Okay then. Now, I've never been able to take out this helicopter. Come on. Now. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh my lord, this is so, like, oh, I love it. Oh, they just don't make Bond games like this anymore. Oh, yes, that's what it's all about. Oh, crap, okay. Which way are you going, Calvin? Which way are you going? Um, okay, then, take that thing out. Go. It's uh. you get that device to me for decoding as soon as possible, double Yeah, trying. Whoa yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now remember this is when like all hell breaks loose and it's just like non-stop explosions, explosions, helicopters, things firing. I've left you something that should give you a boost. Huh, good, yeah, good one. Um Oh, wait, wait, where's my booster? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! And I like to pause here and observe the chaos behind me. Into the abyss. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Jeez, oh, thought the whole thing had frozen on me then. Our satellite indicates that Malpre's men are swarming out there. Exercise extreme caution. Hmm. See, there he goes again with that smile. And of course, because this is a post GoldenEye game, we have to have Bond in a tank. I know I shouldn't be complaining, I mean, you know, I'm the first one to go on about how amazing Goldeneye is, but the amount of times the games insist on putting Bond behind a tank is just like, well, you know, he has driven other vehicles. It's just, I find it curious how it's not like the DB5, where the DB5 is so ingrained in the heritage of the series, I mean, you know, everyone loves the DB5. Um, but a tank is just like, well, uh... They would, you know, if, if you just played the games and never saw the films, you would think that, oh, well, Bond must commandeer a tank in every film in the series, because, obviously, he's got one. 
in every game. Okay. There we go. It's not stop explosions and ba da ba da in this game, isn't it? Right, okay, then let's actually use the cannon for these guys. Die! Right, okay. Okay, and for the helicopter. Oh no, wait, what? Oh, damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, no, no! There we go. Okay. And here we go. Oh, yes, I remember this being another satisfying bit. It's just wanton destruction. I mean, it really is like... But then, you know, that's part of the fun. Oh! I find that a bit curious how that thing blows up though. Oh! Alright, oh. oh. okay. um... Okay. Bad guys around here, maybe? Maybe not. Um, ah, here we go. Alright, come on. Down we. Oh, come on. At least one. Yes, there we go. And now. Oh. Now, oh, this is a nice bond moment. Ah. Oh, yes, yeah, this bit. Well, to be honest, I was coping fine before, but all right, if you insist, I okay, we'll have these things on. Ah, okay. Ah. Come on. Oh, my health is not doing so good here. This could be the first level of the game so far when I don't actually get a gold medal. Ah, uh, actually, the glasses are fairly helpful. Ah, um. uh, it? Oh no! What? There we go. they have to drop that in about the supply train so that when you blow it up in a couple of moments time it's like don't worry Bond isn't actually blowing up a civilian train he is blowing up a baddie train it's like do I really need my night vision goggles for that I mean it's not that dark helicopter oh come on okay here we go come on come on come on and there we go oh yeah I did need my night vision goggles I didn't even see that guy there for the cannon. So don't worry, it's a baddie supply train. It's okay to blow it up. Jesus. Good job, 007. R is waiting for you. I mean, the tanks are still there. Did that really disable them completely? Smashing entrance, wouldn't you say? No, I wouldn't, 007. I've recovered the chip. With a bit of your handiwork, it should tell us the location of Malprave's secret lab. Mm. We'll leave that job in Zed's capable hands. Very capable indeed. What happened to W, X, Y, anyway? <laughs> Oh, I was one Bond move off. Oh, could this be the first time that I don't get a gold? Oh, no, I did. Oh, unlock the Lotus is pretty fantastic. Uh, 